Well, happening today, alpacas are packing up from all across the country and heading for Harrisburg. This weekend, the Farm Show Complex is hosting the Northeastern Alpaca Jamboree. And that's where we find Fox 43's Tyler Hatfield live with his twins this morning. Uh, Tyler, can you let us know what can people expect from this event? Yeah, you know it's going to be a good weekend when alpacas are involved. So alpacas are taking over the Farm Show Complex and this show will feature over 300 alpacas um, represented from over 80 different farms and represented by 18 states. So a lot of alpacas to see and joined with me is Julie. She is coming from a farm in Connecticut and Julie, who do we have right here? This girl, I'm blanking on her name, I'm sorry, but she's from Eagle Eye Farm and she's actually a beautiful gray alpaca. And Julie, you're coming from a farm in Connecticut. Correct. And what would that farm be called? Morning Beckins Farm in Thompson. Morning Be okay, so a lot of alpacas people can see, but it is a show. So I know what showing cows and showing pigs looks like. What does showing alpacas look like? So it's not much different. Um, I, when people come to our farm, I give the equation of actually a dog show. Um, they're looking at body conformation, so they're making sure the proportions of the neck, the body, and the legs are accurate. They are looking at the bite of the animal to make sure it's appropriate. And then most importantly, they're looking at the fleece characteristics. And Julie, this is one type of alpaca, but there's also other types too. Yes, this is a wakaya. Um, they're the ones that you see most commonly in the U.S. They are fluffy, um, so they're actually a little bit more of an eye candy alpaca. The Surreys, however, are the second type of alpaca, and there are several here. There are actually more in Pennsylvania than there are in New England. Oh, wow. So there's actually a fair representation of Surreys at the show today. And they kind of look like a shaggy dog type way. If yes, that makes their sense. fleece actually grows out in sort of a, um, oh, I forget, but a dreadlock style. Dreadlock style, okay. Mm -hmm. And these alpacas are so cute. I mean, that's why they're so popular. People love seeing them, but there's another reason why they're so important to them. Yes, they actually, um, they're fleece. Their fleece is hypoallergenic. Um, people who are generally allergic to wool can wear alpaca. There's none of that heavy oil that's associated with wool. And um, there's actually many other uses for it. Some actually say it can be flame retardant as well. Flame retardant as well. So yeah, whole bunch of alpacas to see here at the Farm Show Complex this weekend. It all kicks off today. Now for more information, you can head to our website at fox43.com. So Alex, Sierra. We showed you two different types of alpacas. I really like this one. This one's really cute. This might be, it's hard to choose which one, but I think this one's the cutest. The, so these far. are gonna be on show, so I'm gonna ask you, do you have an early favorite for the winner? Ooh. I mean, you've been there all morning, so. Early favorite, I think, I think this one's looking good. Um, these are looking good too. You know, from my, you know, hour and a half experience with alpacas, <laughs> I think, you know, they're doing all right. Um, this one was biting the, uh, the rail again, so I don't know if he's a little nervous. We'll see. All right. Thank, Thank you, you very Tyler. much, Tyler, our alpaca aficionado for the morning.